Hello Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, the JCC2224 back again with another Star Wars action figure review. In today's review on the um, Clone Wars um, Cad Bane Escapes Cad Bane figure. Now I did obtain the whole set, but I just felt like only reviewing Cad Bane. Mainly because the others are just simple wee packs, and honestly, they're nice figures, but you know, I just want to review this guy. And before we get on to this really, really nice um, figure, uh, let's get on to the accessories. First, he has a uh, Cad Bane card that really has, you know, a cool picture of him disguised as Dino. Um, his stand. Just normal stand. And the set itself came with one Galactic Battle Game die. Now, this figure, I must say, um,. I don't think it's the easiest Clone Wars um, figure to obtain. I know it's not too difficult, but it's not the easiest. Um, but I was able to see this uh, set at a Tuesday morning for 10 bucks, And honestly, why would I pass that up? Um, I also did see um, Defend Camino, but I already did have it. See, I just have him on my desk. Um, just comparing quickly before I get on to... Cad Bane in more detail. Here he is next to Clone Trooper Denal, or Denal as I call him. I, I prefer calling him Denal than Denal. You can really see how his paint applications are darker and his are a little brighter. Um, another thing I really notice, he has an accurate paint color for his helmet, but with him they added way too much. Um, looking at the card right here, and all um, Denal really had um, with his helmet design was those two stripes on his cheeks and the stripe down his um, kind of forehead there as well as the stripe um, atop his visor. While this kind of has the full-fledged striping similar to Captain Rex um, just showing you you know how Captain Rex has um, blue going all about his visor well he does as well and that makes him um, a little inaccurate but honestly, I like how they um, did the detail with that. I like how they painted it, but I don't like that they painted it. Um, just showing you. Like if I were to take the figure and hold it afar, it looks like he has a big clump of black for a visor, and he looks kind of bad with de with um, on terms of paint on his head. I mean, on his helmet, but um. Get more into detail, actually the figure itself. He does come with a regular clone trooper pistol. Nothing new there. He also comes with a backpack, which I will not bother to remove in the video. But you can unpeg that and store probably nothing in there because it's too small. Uh, just peg that back in. He also comes with this neat little feature. You can remove his uh, little... Um, arm gauntlet here. Um, he doesn't have articulated wrist. He doesn't, he has an articulated wrist for his, um, right arm, but not for his left. And just showing you a little more detail on that. Really nice blue, um, paint application. And, um, I really like this. You can actually see his scar, where he's, um, you can see his blue skin, and how he, um, got it, and got himself cut, and the green blood. That is a really cool feature. He also has the up and down visor. I don't like him with the visor down. I prefer him with the visor up. And of course, he has his removable helmet, revealing the face of the Duro's bounty hunter, which just fell. Um, now with the head sculpt itself, I must say, I am pleased with it, but I do think it is rather small. Um, comparing it to the... Uh, Imperial Navy Commander's head sculpt. You can see how, even though it's just about the same size, it just looks a little small. I don't know why. I've always seen Cad Bane with, you know, with a little larger of head, of head, um, a little larger head, but really this figure kind of lacks that. Um, but the head overall is nice. You can really see right now the really nice red eyes and how he really looks like Cad Bane. 
and overall I really really like this figure nicely detailed um, it's Cad Bane it's kinda denal and it's just really cool um, now articulation for this guy is kind of you know this guy is actually a kit bash he has um ball hinged hips not ball hinged hips what am I talking about <laughs> He has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows. He has a swivel wrist on this, but no swivel wrist on that. He has an entirely new lower arm, and he has the same arm as um, Commander Stone, to my knowledge. He also has a Commander Stone torso that swivels. But this is a twist. He has the older clone legs with swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles, which is really, really cool. So that's really it with this review of the Star Wars, the Clone Wars, um, Cadman Escapes Cadman figure. And, um, I really recommend this guy if you see him. So let me get him in a pose where he's kind of holding his injured arm. You know, like, hey, don't mess with me because I'm trying to blend in, but I obviously, obviously am not because I have blue skin. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's really it with this review. Have a good day. May the Force be with you.